the unspoken truth about all these things is that it is actually these people that we consider of lesser means that they don't have so much you know that has, they are poor quote unquote those are the people that are actually funding this lifestyle that you see all these big god of men that are living large on the back of these poor people that's why they are crying because when these poor people are not able to congregate and contribute for them they are missing that laggies because how much can a rich person give them in one month in, in, in one in one year you can they can count it not more than three million is you know is, is enough <laughs> Hi everybody, how you all doing? Good day to you or oh, welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Blessing and this is my Blessed Home TV. I welcome every one of you who is coming here for the first time and also welcome you, my returning subscriber, my viewers. Thank you so much for your support. Happy Mother's Day to everybody. Happy Mother's Day. Today's happiest Mother's Day here in Germany. I don't know how it is wherever you are. So yeah, my children did some of uh, their own craft work for me. This one is from my daughter. <laughs> she said happy mother's day and they wrote lovely things uh on it you know it's in german anyways and this one is from my son he did <laughs> a craft work that is like um you know um a wall cloth he did it himself and this one is from my little baby <laughs> he did a little star for me and i hope that you had a nice time with your family today and you know celebrating the mother's day with your children so today i want to talk about the video yedepo's declaration and you know prayers against anyone that does not support him you know opening uh, his churches uh, so he made a declaration yesterday and he said that um uh, um churches uh, are now declared open across nations uh, anyone that is against it is not going to go down well for the person uh, you know that hunger um is you know is dangerous and is even worse than the sickness that is in town that we were all locked down because of and that um but Something that is worse than this sickness that we are facing right now is spiritual famine. And so if people come and congregate in his church, uh, then they will hear the word and then they will not be in this, uh, you know, famine. But you and I know that he's missing out on the laggies that he gets, you know, from the donations, from the uh, tithes, from the offerings. And I was thinking that, uh, you know, normally they ask people to give them at the beginning of all these problems that we are facing today they ask people to give them um, money electronically so obviously that is not working so well because as we all know it's actually the poor people the poor market women the poor uh, business people who have shops and who are doing trading these are the people that these people are living from these millionaire uh, uh, bishops and uh, flying jets and flying and all these things they are actually living from the poor because a rich person can give you one million in a month you know that's it he can't give you more than that at the most or maybe they can give you hundred thousand but you see these poor people they will gather in their millions and they will donate like hundred naira and they will give a tithe of 200 naira and they will sow a seed of another hundred naira so just assume that, you know, we are talking about a population of how many uh, million people in Nigeria. And let's assume that he has uh, these poor people. Of course, we all know that poor people are more in their numbers. They are in their millions. So uh, maybe if you have a population of about 200 million people, and we know that millions of the people are living below the uh, poverty line. And so it's very possible that... Um, a large number of his people are not wealthy so it's all those poor people that will give and give hoping to escape out of that poverty and they will be giving 100 naira for this 200 naira for that and let's assume that you have 10 million people 10 million people who are of lesser means who are willing to contribute 
100 naira in every city. My brothers and my sister, this is 100 billion, billion that we are looking at. So when you have 10 million people who are of lesser means coming together to be given 100 naira, to be given, just say they give 100 naira every time and you calculate it together. That is already billions, hundred billion we are talking about. So these are the people that are actually fueling this pompous, ostentatious, wealthy lifestyle. And this is what they are actually about. This is really what is hurting them. And <laughs> the funny thing is, these people are not even in the position to say, I contributed because they will look at them and say, is it that your hundred naira? How much do you think that they used to build this university? Do you think is that your hundred naira? But in, in the truth, the true fact is, it is that they are small, small, small money that they keep coming together. And you will see that they will have program every week. Monday for this, Tuesday for this, Wednesday for this. You see these people having programs that they are going to. And this is how they accumulate all this wealth. And this is actually what they are actually missing. And those are the people that they are actually cashing in from. For example, if you take 1 million people who have only 100 naira to give, that's already 10 million in one gathering, in one church service. You understand? In one morning. So let's assume that it's 200 naira that they are able to give. That's already 20 million. Just, just, you know, just, this is just a minor calculation. And so they are actually living out of these people who are supposed to be, you know, uh, the one that need the help, the one that need the assistance. They are the ones, uh, you know, that they are actually feeding from. And it's a shame. It's a tragedy, actually. But anyways, uh, why am I making this video? I just want to make this video because uh, sometimes um, people may be in the illusion that my daddy Jeho has said this, uh, you know, we are now some kind of uh, elect, uh, selected people, uh, you know, they are feeling like, um, you know, they are in some kind of, um, maybe, you know, a group that is special, uh, you know, his blessings go straight to them in special, like they are the elect, that's the language they use, actually. So they will be feeling in this home and they will gather themselves and congregate. But why they are doing that, this man himself, he's standing at the altar, you can see, He's very far away from everybody. Just even the distancing that they are telling us to do. He has been practicing it since 19. And you can see that he's standing there. His soldiers all around him. You can't come close to him. You can't touch him. It's actually the people that are going to be congregating, sitting on the pews that are going to be the one that we have the fallout of this kind of gathering. So you see that. In the end, he's not interested in the welfare of his people. And that's one point. Another point is, these people that have been at home, they have not been able to open their shops, they have not been able to go to the market, but you want them to come so that they will gather and give you money. But where will that money come from? At least they're supposed to recuperate from all the losses that they have made all this time that they are at home. But obviously, he's not interested in that. You see, I don't know where we put our mind, because sometimes we used to blame the People that brought this religion to us and say they use it to deceive us but see the way they are doing it even they themselves they are not doing it to the extent our own are doing it you know like if you need help they will help you to the last but our own they are just taking 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 they don't want to give back eh? so I did not even expect that somebody you know that I, I swear that he has so much you know uh, what is he accumulating all these things for is he not to go to heaven again like you know we used to sing this song that they say this world is not my home i'm just passing through but obviously they are not passing through they want to have it all they want to have all the world they want to have all the money and so the revenue that he's losing every sunday is a lot of money because this is their own means of livelihood and this speaks against everything that the apostles and the jesus himself did they said that you know you must work for your money apostle paul said it I did not collect your money. I did not take your gold. Everything I, 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 I did, I end with my hands. You know why he was with them? It's all there in the scripture. Again, if it's about spiritual famine, why should that be? We live in an age thankfully that electronics had made it possible that you know they can transmit all these things even when we were going off like 20 years ago, there was still audio. You can have this recording, and I know people who used to. 
put put on their television to listen to Oyedepo way back like 12 13 years ago way back you know they have been doing it so even now the, the technology is advanced that time it was 2g 3g no 2g that time 2g but now we have 4g even like that time, you know, the technology has not even advanced up to this time. They were able to transmit their audio, you know, redistribute their tapes and everything. And people were able to listen to them. So, uh, there, where can, why would there be spiritual family if the technology has made it possible for you to even do a live video and people will see you, uh, you know. It's almost like you are also standing separate the way you are standing on that altar because let's face it nobody comes near to him so obviously it's about people congregating to gather money and give it to him that is what he's crying about and it's a shame and i was thinking that since he's educationally inclined you know he has two universities and I, i've also learned that he has built a world-class um research center that he will be more concerned about education because uh, the online education that the state governments are doing is not going around to children of poor means and you know and so i was thinking that maybe they will even be agitating for schools to reopen in one way or the other to help these people who are poor who cannot access the online education or the electronic education that is being offered but what do we see they are not interested in that they are just interested in people coming to sit down and do what how can you be complaining that people went to the market to buy food and they cannot come to church and see that is it not who has eaten and belly food that will come and sit down and be annoying it will come and hear to what you are saying eh? i don't even understand this thing that these people are talking about is it not when you have eaten that you are not able to come and sit down to hear what somebody is saying when you are hungry you cannot listen now and since when is coming together to sit down now an essential activity it is not it has never been so that comparison is so out of place and if you say that it's organized yeah it's organized for him for his own benefit it's not for the benefit of all those people who will be sitting next to each other on the pews so my own is let everybody use their tongue to count their teeth you know when something is going on uh, some people who think everything is spiritual spiritual uh, you know my daddy Jew, i know they command a lot of uh, i mean no disrespect but I think that, uh, um, you know, since God has given us all these platforms, we should be able to use it to speak out and sow the seed of reasoning and changing of perspective into the lives of people so that they can begin to see, uh, you know, from another point of view that you cannot just listen to these people point blank and believe them. There are, there are so, they may have other motives to whatever they are doing, you see. Yeah, so I just feel that we should always tell our people our relatives our loved ones and if we have uh, the platforms like this we should use it to you know speak out you know talk about things like this even though they may be unpopular but they are really really useful to to talk about and you know uh, educate people enlighten people and uh, broaden their mind to see things from another angle that you know the way they think it is the you know that spiritual aspect that they are looking at the way they are looking at it me you know it may not always be what the other person is seeing it you know that there may be other things going on that so yeah what do you think <laughs> do you think it's all about spiritual farming i don't think so do you think that he really cares about his uh, followers not to die of a spiritual farming no i don't think so i think that he's in need of money the revenue is through you know is going down he needs it you know <laughs> <laughs> he needs it and he's he, you know he has to agitate for it so anyways this is just my own opinion though i want to say thank you to every one of you who made it possible for my channel to get monetized i appreciate your support once again please don't hesitate to join me here subscribe and join us here at the blessed on tv thank you so much i'll see you in another video bye for now bye, -bye. <music>